Hey, what's up everybody? It's uh, Joe D. Uh, doing a rare live uh, post. Um, this post actually is being done more out of, uh, out of a public service announcement. I just got finished with um, one of my continuing education classes. Uh, for those that are not in real estate, uh, in order to renew your license, Every two years, you're required to take uh, 24 hours of continuing education, of which uh, we have to take some mandatory classes. One of them's on contracts. The class on contracts was the one from today. What's up, Bill? Two Bills. How you guys doing? Thanks for checking in. Uh, today's class was on the real estate contract, something real estate agents use all the time. And once again, I'll say that this was continuing education, meaning there's no brand new agents in this class. Everybody in there is at least a couple of years. But here's what blew me away. 90% of the audience knew very little about the contracts that we use day in and day out. That is absolutely mind blowing. I, I bring this up for two reasons. Number one, if you're a consumer, uh, you know, you all know 8, 10, 12, maybe 20 real estate agents. And I don't care where you live in this country um, or North America or wherever, you're going to know a bunch. Because somebody passed their real estate licensing exam and got their license does not necessarily make them qualified. Uh, neither does if they've been in the business for 5 to 7, 10 years. What we found in this class out of uh, just over 40 people there was three of us that had been in the business 20 years or longer. Ironically, the three of us knew every provision in the contract, every term, what it was for, why it's used, and the rest of the room, which this um, continuing education instructor was calling people by name, asking them things like, do you know what the word contingency means? That's not a very... Um, a scarcely used word. It's used all the time. Every single deal is loaded with contingencies and most of them couldn't answer it. Most of them couldn't tell you why there was a date and time needed next to the duties owed form. That's not a contract, but it is the first document that has to be signed before you go into a listing agreement or a purchase agreement. And what it specifically outlines is who is representing who in the transaction and what their duties are in the deal. So a couple of thoughts came to mind. I, I called one of my friends who's a real estate commissioner and I said, hey, we got a massive problem here. He, he says, I agree. And he's pushing what he can up on the legislative end. Um, we've got to figure out a way to get agents better educated. There's too many brokers that are open up these shops with the broker themselves has very little to no training. They're hiring people and not taking the time to teach them the basics. The scary part to me is that the consumers are ultimately the ones that are gonna be hurt by this. I know sometimes we think we might be doing a friend a favor, a family member who just got in the business, it's all well and good. However, if they don't know the basic things that needs to be done, then you as a consumer are exposed. If you're a real estate agent, and I've got a lot of friends that I'm uh, um, connected with on social media, whether they're here in Las Vegas um, or in California or all over the country, man, make sure you're taking the time to learn your contracts, learn the terms. You should know what every paragraph, every sentence, and if you don't understand it, go find somebody who can explain it to you. This is not something that you wanna leave hanging out there. To double up on top of this, this morning I got a friend from, uh, excuse me, I got a call from a good friend who's a lender. And he said that he's got a buyer that he's doing a loan for um, that the loan's not gonna close on time. And the buyer's agent knew at the time they wrote the offer that there was very unlikely that they were gonna hit that closing deadline. They also knew within three days of the offer being acceptance, because the lender communicated it to him, that there is no way they're gonna hit that closing deadline. It was a newer agent, a younger agent, who put in a very attractive offer with a very short closing date. And I know what his thinking was. His thinking was, I wanna get this client the property, so we're gonna make it look like we can do this really fast. They have an FHA loan, which there's a certain amount of time that takes on that. 
The sad part is they had a very experienced agent, someone like myself, and I, I found out the name of the agent, very good agent, very competent agent, who's been in the business a long time. And he knows that that agent was BSing his way through starting about a week ago. And the agent did nothing, nothing to reach out, nothing to communicate, hey, there's a challenge, we need to correct something. So the sad part is, they're gonna to cancel tomorrow. The seller is gonna be within their rights because they aren't able to perform on time. And the buyer is gonna be out that earnest money deposit because the buyer's agent thought, oh, I'll just pull this little maneuver, put in a short closing date, and when it doesn't close on time, well, we'll just force the seller's hand. They have a strong agent on the other end, that buyer is gonna be left holding the bag and out thousands of dollars on that deal. So. My public service announcement on this part, number one, if you're an agent, learn the business. Go work for a brokerage that'll teach you. Take extra CE classes, even though it's not due and you know at this time. Go sit with a veteran agent, have them walk through the contract. Heck, if you got a friend who's an attorney, pay them to go through the contract with you and explain it so you know what you're getting yourself into. And if you're a member of the, of the public and you're about to work with, a, with an agent on buying or selling a real estate, uh, or a piece of real estate, I recommend that you ask them simple questions like, tell me what this means on the contract. If they don't know it's stone cold, you've got somebody who's pretending to be a professional in the real estate industry. The business is such that it attracts a lot of people because number one, they think the idea of the freedom, control your own schedule, and ultimately number two, maybe make some good money. The reality is this business is about looking out for other people's best interest, protecting them every step of the way in the contract. That is your job as a real estate agent. You better learn the contracts and know what to do. And if you're a member of the public, don't just hire somebody because you know them, you like them, interview them, ask questions. Heck, the first form they're gonna go over with you is what's called the duties owed by a licensee. Have them explain it to you without them reading it. If they can't do that, find somebody else. That's it, I'm done. For all of you that have been watching, and I see some really good real estate agents, what's up Ivan, uh, that are on this. I know you guys know your stuff, and I know you train your agents. Let's see what we can do to get the word out to everybody else. Ultimately, the undoing of the real estate agents in this profession will not be from outside, these uh, industry uh, interrupters that pop up every couple of years to try and grab a bite. The undoing will come from the inside and that's people that are not engaged in learning this process. Okay, that's out. I'm out. See ya.